I do believe. It's pretty warm. Stuffy. A lot of hot air. Let me get to Merle in Michigan. He wants to respond to a caller. I think a Friday caller about being black in the hood. <laughs> Merle, how are you doing in Michigan? Hola. Hey. Buenos nachos. Appreciate it. Donde, donde está mi tequila? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, whatever happened to Merle, I don't hear from him anymore. To Earl from Michigan? It's been a little Earl, while. Sorry. Yeah. I yeah. haven't heard from Earl. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe he thinks that I've got it covered. Yeah. With the three Spanish statements in the front, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to call about Dr. Chuck Detroit. Oh, uh, yeah. D- he called himself Dr. Detroit, which is a movie with that guy from Dan Aykroyd from uh, Ghostbusters, I guess. Right. Which was a good movie. But he called himself <laughs> Chuck. And he thought, yeah, of, you he thought so know, highly of himself. And, and so he, he put you, yeah, he really thought highly of himself. <laughs> thing was that uh, he lives in a crappy area and he was hope for surviving that area. <laughs> and he and he's the of the type of Yeah, that's the word that he came up with. <laughs> <laughs> and, but uh like here's the deal. Why don't you build an area that white and there isn't all this in V. Yeah. Wouldn't that you be nice? Do that. And then we're making progress. It's all I can do it. Yeah. Get started now. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point. That's kind of like you pride in like how much you can do. how much you can destroy how yourself, crappy right? You are. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... I'm so proud of my community, you don't want to go in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you can build a safe area that people, you know, who, who is it that makes me there and so crappy? Melvin? How about the Nope. the poles? Don't think so. No. Who is it? I don't know. Probably your fault for being white. Yeah. So, and we all want to see you. Well, we're cheering you on, we're behind you, and you're just hating. Yeah. It demands stuff. My free shit. Sorry, sorry for that. Man. My free <laughs> stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good point, Merle. They have their... I want to have Please do it. Yeah, that's true. Why do you like your blacks having a ghetto? Why do you want to have a ghetto? Like they pretend, oh, every time we get our stuff going, you guys bomb us. <laughs> it, so happened in, call, it happened in it happened in more than yourself. just Tulsa. It happened in many cities. Uh, it was actually infight. It was fighting amongst the people. They were fighting with the white came in and fought with them. They were fighting amongst each other. It wasn't just oh, they were people. just like Trayvon. The evidence seems to indicate, based on the he looked suspicious. He wasn't just minding his own business. You have no evidence that he was just minding his own business. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Appreciate it, Merle. I hope he calls him. Yeah, he might. He might. Thank you. Yeah. One last thing. Uh, uh, with his ah! on uh, Francis Scott Key. The- oh yeah, that was cool. The white, the white history ah! moment from the anchor baby. I, I hope. Yep. I hope you guys make a little YouTube ah! show. Just that. Ah! 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 Nice. Okay, thank you for the request. I will pass right. that along Keep to Nick. Up. Thank you, Merle. Take care. All right. Adios. Adios. In America. Ah! In America. We call it Adios. Dan Coulter's book, Adios America. Um, let me get to Mar- Marty in uh, California. How are you doing, Marty? What's up? Hey, happy birthday. Thank you. Nice to hear from you. 
He goes, well, well, it's going to be my last time talking to you as of today. Oh, okay, yeah? I'll try to get back. Yeah, I'm having some other surgery. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to stay. Okay. Good luck, Thank you. I'll, yeah. I'll try to get back at you when my voice comes back. Okay. Keep it cool. And, uh, heal up once you do that. I wish you well. Yeah. Thank you. I know. It'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. Pretty soon. <laughs> okay. And, and crazy mother happy birthday too. She is my mother. Nice. Well, hello to her. Appreciate you guys. I will, let, I will let them know, and we appreciate you guys. And hope to hear from you guys. Appreciate you. Nice. And happy birthday, again, James. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. You as well. Very nice. Wish you well, Marty, says uh, Maria. Canadian David. Ah! Wow. You know, let me quickly cover this stuff. I have, there's one line open, guys. I will be getting to your calls, 888-775-3773. In the last few minutes of this first hour here, 41%. I covered this briefly. Giovanni from Baltimore call in to the Jesse Lee Peterson show. He's running for office over there or has run. And he may run again. I'm, I'm sure he will. He cares about the community. He actually cares. 41% of Baltimore high school are below a 1.0 GPA. That's less than a D average. If you get all Ds, A, B, C, D, if you're foreigners, that means like, uh, I think 60% is a D. Out of 100%, right? Well, they're getting Fs. <laughs> Ds and Fs. 41% of the Baltimore high school students. And 25% the year before were getting a D average or, or worse. But now it's even worse, partly because of the shutdowns. The shutdowns, the communist shutdowns. But also, I mean, the shutdowns, people cope, people uh, make changes. People adapt. Parents get a little bit more involved, especially like mothers, if they're home. But in Baltimore, they don't have parents, or they don't have good parents, or they don't have both parents. So it's a lot tougher for a single mother. Huh? To deal with that type of situation, especially if it's wow. yes. a single mother. No, no, of no! Which there are many. Probably most. Not probably. Definitely. Yes. A significant number of Baltimore public high school students earned below a D grade point average during the first three quarters of the 2020-2021 school year. Per an analysis by Project Baltimore, solve the investigative puzzles, reporting man. series on the Fox affiliate WBFF. 41% earned a 1.0 grade GPA, grade point average. That would mean more than... More than 8,400 Baltimore City Schools, 20,500 20, students are getting grades below a D average. Oh, they have that many schools in Baltimore City? What? I don't know, that's wild. Meanwhile, the analysis found that 21% of city high school students obtained a 3.0, only 21% obtained a 3.0 B or better. The uh, school district blames the pandemic. Scandemic. No, it's the shutdown that you guys supported. The shutdowns. And it's more than just that, it's the parents. That's part of the root. Part of the root. And the correct <coughs> teacher. We should, we should abolish uh, some of this madness. The, maybe the education department? Nationwide? And maybe more. But they're talking about, oh, remote learning and all that stuff. So give me a break. Giovanni Patterson was interviewed by the Epic Times and by Fox News. So right on, man. Trying for, uh, doing stuff right. And by the way, they spend money like crazy on these things. Like crazy.
Our schools outspend 90 97% of other major school districts. He said. Anyway, guys, it is 10.01 a.m. here in Los Angeles, and I have, it is my birthday, I'm playing 90 Pound Wuss. This is the second track to the album Shorthand. Oh! 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 I'm a, no, this song is called Fulfilled. Fulfilled. So enjoy, and I'll talk you through it after a couple of minutes here, guys. I'll be right back with the rest. Of hour one, enjoy. Of hour two, enjoy. Oh. 